my name is chintala venkat reddy from hyderabad so my first invention is a process to improve nutrient content of the soil in the cultivated lands that means uh, we are growing crop by crop from the same land same soil and uh, suppose uh, if we think of paddy or wheat we are going on cultivating same crop some years together uh, so the yield earlier when we are cultivating new soil we were getting high yields and uh, good yields if we use fertilizer or uh, in those days uh, organic manures uh, after some years together uh, what happened the yields were reducing drastically because of the roots of the paddy crop is penetrating only up to 3 feet depth uh, as well as wheat and vegetables also so the uh, ultimately we were getting poor yields uh, once upon a time the idea i saw the that the subsoil importance i came to understand the subsoil importance then i applied to the nursery bed the results were fantastic and uh, at the same time the idea has developed uh, to dig a wa- dig a trench in the same cultivating land and put a side excavated soil and uh, whatever the top soil from the whole plot uh, top 2 inches or 3 inches brought the brought it and filled the trench with the top soil and the excavated soil is uh, first to in the first process we leveled on the top of the plot and uh, after uh, plowing the blending was taken place old soil and new soil the blending was taken place after uh, plowing we also added some organic manures at that time with the same uh, result we were got uh, 10.3 tons per hectare paddy and 5.6 tons per hectare wheat so with the qualitative and quantitative at that time what i did during flowering stage i thought uh, let us mix this subsoil in the water channel uh, so that the seed setting may be well so at that time uh, i taken 2 tons of subsoil and uh, Uh, added it in the water channel during the flowering stage of the crop at that time the uh, seed were set very well so we thought uh, it may increases the nutrition value of the crop also and uh, later on i analyzed particular uh, process nutrients uh, and uh, the lab report was very fantastic that vitamin a and c in the rice so usually we can't get uh, uh, vitamin a and c so when we are adding during flowering stage at that time the subsoil the nutrients were uh, changed the uh, quality of the and nutritional value of the crop even wheat and paddy so i thought it is very good for uh, at that stage applying the soil at the same time next process next process means after uh, 2004 to 2011 it has taken nearly 5 to 8 years uh, when i came to when we are applying the subsoil to the plants in the middle also it was fallen and it was dried in the rows so we put a, a 1 kg 1 kg middle dried soil we came to understand that immediately the crop changed it leaves and berries were very vigor growth we noticed and i thought again i filed a patent dry for dried soils when the soil is dried the nutrients all will be available moreover i, I explained that uh, atmosphere in nitrogen will also preserving the in the top soil on drying uh, 
the soil is also preserving atmospheric nutrients and nitrogen also. So, I filed a patent in the 2012 and uh, in the year 2013 it was internationally publication public, the same patent publication. So, at that time I also applied uh, not only road system, but I also applied uh, spraying, mixing in the water and sprayed. But uh, I noticed fantastic results. Immediately the crop uh, vigor and uh, within hours uh, the um, paddy crop vigor changed. So, I thought why, what is the difference between uh, dry and wet and uh, I have taken some wet soil also in the same bucket and uh, other portion of the control area uh, I applied. The results are not showing in that particular area only dry dry soil mixing only showing. So, uh, in the patent I written uh, in sp by spraying this also uh, the greenery of the plant, the already maturity of the grain were noticed and uh, slight uh, all tillers are widespread like I mentioned it in the patent. So, they accepted and pu publication given publication. And also, I claimed in that process uh, any any person who uh, apply through deep irrigation also claim goes to me, and uh, any any people will spray the same solution, uh, mix it in water, and so the claim I, I also claimed that that claim also accepted internationally. In the 2004. I filed a patent 28 June internationally a process to improve nutrient content of the soil in the cultivated lands. It was publication at uh, in the January month of 5th January or uh, 2006. In the March 2nd the US president the Indian authorities told me the district collector came over came to me and sir US president wanted to meet you, will you accept? I told, I asked him why, what is the reason? No sir, your patent is in publication, no? You want to appreciate that patent? No, let it come, let him come, I will meet him. So, he came over Hyderabad on a private visit and met me and congratulated uh, Mr. Reddy, you have done a good thing to mankind. So, then I thought soil means all crops it leads to oh, oh this is the uh, uh, that is why the reason why uh, the patent is applicable to all crops not only paddy wheat but all crops no uh, they can't pay roy any royalty nobody can pay royalty all for all crops so that is the reason why you wanted to uh, appreciate me here we can't dig the channel because of this uh, pandal system. So, uh, from an outside excavated soil, we put it and brought here and uh, uh, applied uh, with uh, periodically, not uh, per month, only 6 to 10 cages per vine. We applied. First application. The second application, uh, second invention is dried soil. Dried soil also likewise collected and uh, applied uh, 1 kg per vine at a time and during t within 10 days period. Uh, that means 2 kg per vine. So, it is more than enough at that time for uh, give good yield. Uh, after that, now latest trend is spraying only. Instead of applying root zone, we reduce the application of uh, soil dry even dried soil for the uh, root zone drastically and increase the uh, spraying system if we ne need based that means uh, if, if it needed we are uh, within 4 or 5 days uh, time we are uh, spraying if not 10 days once or weekly once greenery of the leaf and uh, growth of the berry 
size, inc increase of the berry mm -hmm. and uh, stiffness of the berry by spraying uh, with no pest and diseases were noticed. That means uh, there is no, if you, we are using subsoil means there will be no fungal infection. If at all there is any fungal infection, we are drying it. So all the fungus will be sterile. So that uh, nothing is, uh, we are uh, no disease and uh, pest and diseases. Even fungal infection also not there. Soil mixing means everybody will doubt about the what uh, it will be muddy, no? How can we spray? Well, it, is, it is a simple process. If we put 20 kgs of subsoil in the barrel and stir it well and wait for 15 to 30 minutes. Then the all heavy particles of the soil will settle down at the bottom of the barrel. And whatever the top floating solution, we must filter it and apply to the crops. That is the simple. So, people, everyone will think, oh, it is muddy water, how can we spray? Sprayers will be jammed and all the muddy particles will be on the leaf. No, nothing will happen like that. You must need not worry, no doubt at all. If you wait for a few minutes and moreover, if you want to give the same solution through the dip irrigation, you must wait for 5 to 4 hours or 5 hours. Then the pure water, all muddy particles, whatever the jamming will settle down the bottom, water soluble nutrients will be on the floating water. Then you filter it and uh, give it through deep irrigation. Mm, that uh, dippers will not be jammed. For first best pest control, uh, we must use only subsoil because in the top soil, all the organic matter, whatever the plant to leaf material, grass material, whatever the plant material will be on the top soil only. So, if we mix it on the top soil, uh, the those particles can be eaten by the insects, organic matter. So, in the uh, subsoil, there is no presence of any organic matter. There will be no presence of any organic matter. So, it will be purely soil particles only. Then, and the clay content is there. If we spray on their body, we will restrict the respiration of the uh, insects because of the absence of their lungs. And it also obstructs the uh, respiration and uh, as well as if it eats, it, uh, it cannot digest because of absence of liver. So, it cannot digest the soil particles and it cannot survive on the leaf if you spray. Top soil is also very useful by spraying and uh, the taste of the fruit will also increases by the top soil. Because if you smell it top soil, put it some water, smell will be very pleasant. Huh? That pleasant soil, if you apply to the plant, it will give sweet fruit. Huh? The crispness of the fruit, the sweetness of the fruit in increases drastically. Huh? So, top soil also uh, NPK and uh, some more nutrients, whatever the organisms uh, will die in the top soil. The organisms means earthworms, ants, uh, white ants, so many organisms will die on the top soil only. Their body and uh, the organic matter, whatever the oils contain in the uh, organic matter, grass, uh, all will be present in the top soil only. Then uh, it will give so many good growth as well as uh, not only growth, um, Yield will also boost with that and branches will also come with the top soil, with the help of top soil. The collection of the top and subsoil, dried top and soil pile in India, it, is, it may take various from March to June, July till the rains will come. Uh, the best period in uh, South India, March to June and uh, whereas North India, April to July, the best period to collect. Why? Because all the because all the soil will be dried naturally. 
So, collection is very easy, there is no need to uh, dry it mechanically. In, in Europe countries, there will be no sunlight, enough sunlight, they will need to dry it. And we can preserve, after drying it, we can preserve by uh, placing tarpaulin or in a room or if you put grass, uh, powder grass or uh, uh, any other process, uh, covering material. When you put in the barrel, then only the nutrients will be available to the plants.